I'm sitting here between two extremes of our soybean population trial this year. So I got the highest population planted 200,000 on this side, only 40,000 on this side. We've been dropping our populations over the last several years and this year is the lowest we've ever gone for a whole farm average. Some people will ask, so I'll tell you, we're on 30 inch rows on our soybeans. We plant corn and soybeans with the same planter. It's probably been longer ago than I think, maybe eight or 10 years. We used to plant 165,000 all the time. We were getting problems with soybeans lodging at harvest, falling over, that kind of thing. Getting way, way too tall. You get something chest high in August, especially if we get some rain, then you're like, oh, that's not good because you know they're not gonna be standing up later. So we started, we dropped to 140. So planting 140,000 an acre, and that, that seemed to work pretty well, take care of some of the lodging issues. Then we really started testing. And for the last three, four years, we've been at 120,000 is our population average. But I've put out trials down to 80,000 and up to 200,000. And every time the yield comes out in probably a two to three bushel range between those populations and the seed cost, is where it's at you're just saving a lot on the seed so we're down to we've been 120,000 but for this year 2023 I ordered or tried to order only seed for a hundred thousand per acre because after those trials pretty comfortable going down to a hundred thousand actually this is a little more than half of our bean acres is the what we grow for seed production uh, they didn't quite want to go to 100 got them down to 110 so a lot of that was planted at 110 everything else was planted at 100,000, except this trial out here, I did 40,000, 80,000, 120, 160, and 200,000, just to do that trial again. From past experience, anything above 120, uh, when it, you shake it all out for the seed cost and the yield, anything above 120 is, is not gonna be beneficial. In the last couple years, so 140,000 is a unit of soybeans, a unit's getting up to 80 bucks an acre in some cases it wasn't 60 bucks an acre uh, not not too long ago so the, those savings really add up and if the yield doesn't change why not plant less now i'll show you where we've gone down to 40,000 this year i've done that for the first time i, I know a guy that that plants 30,000 he does 40 regularly he's on 20 inch rows um, we've had quite a bit of good soil moisture but since we've planted uh, we could use kind of a crust busting rain and let me show you the difference between 40,000 and 200,000, at least as of right now. So here's a row of 200,000 right here. They're all looking pretty nice and up, pretty easy to row from the road, you can see good. So this row here is 200,000, then we jump over to 40. And of course they are gonna be spaced farther apart, but there's definitely not as many of them. You can see there's one there and a couple there. There's a pretty good gap. In between them here's here's some broken soil here i bet you there's one coming there yep there's one there that's the guy that needs the rain right there coming through so when you get these lower populations another thing you see here's probably another spot yep <laughs> there's just one bean pushing that whole thing up right there so he's kind of trying to break his neck to get out of there hopefully he survives just we get a little rain to soften this very top layer you can see we don't need the soil moisture underneath. Right underneath it's moist, plenty of good moisture, but we need just that top crust. I mean, we could could bring the rotary hoe out for this this one pass, uh, two planter passes of each population here. But you see these are struggling. Now when you get to the 200,000, see these guys, they have no problem lifting this stuff. I mean, there's one under there, but they have more pushing power to break through. And see, there's still more 200s to come. A rain would make a big difference. This is uh, Wednesday. We got a chance Friday. So we'll see what happens. Right now, at least visually, the 200 is looking better. If we go to the other side of this 200, that's where the 80,000 is. So again, here's here's the 200, this row, and this row for 48 rows that way. And then we jump over to the 80, and the 80 definitely looks better than the 40. There's more of them up. So. 80 is a good low low population. Like I said, we tried to average 100,000 this year. Just doing the 40 to try to break the system on the downside and see uh, if that's too low or not. 
course, this is only the middle of May. Uh, like I said, a rain would really help on that that 40,000 stretch. But we got a long way to go, another uh, four to five months of uh, growth here. So we'll see what happens come harvest when, when the combine comes out here. Some other stuff we've done with soybeans, we've switched to planting soybeans first before corn. Uh, we found, especially with the early maturities, the earlier we can get them out, uh, weather allowing us to do that, the better they do, especially those early maturing ones, those group twos, grow some two fives, two sixes, two eights, two nines, stuff like that. Um, if we can get those out in mid-April, we got some out April 6th, um, a couple years ago, they took three weeks to come up. Uh, they got snowed on once, but that was before they came up. I know they got frosted three times, but they had cereal rye out there, cover crop up above them. I think the cereal rye took all the frost. I couldn't find one damaged bean after all those frosts, so I think the cereal rye protected us there. No cereal rye here, but the, the field across the road here, uh, that's the first field we planted this year. Uh, it has cereal rye, so it was planted... Um, just about a month ago, uh, April 18th, so we're halfway through May now. So your rice is still growing out there. I'm going to go look at that. Maybe it'll get terminated next week. would like it to get a little taller uh, as it dies down, melts down, makes that mat between the rows, keeps other weeds from coming up. So it's had no herbicide yet. This has had the uh, burn down and residual pass. field across the road has had nothing so far. Usually those cereal rye fields uh, will get at least one less post pass. So it'll be interesting to see what the 40,000 does. This 80,000 is, is looking pretty good. There's a bit of a thin spot there. but 200,000 is pretty right now, but I'll bet when it comes down to net profit, it's not the best one out here. We'll see. It never has been before, but we just keep doing it until we uh, keep these results going and uh, kind of truth ourselves. One last thing I need to be more mindful of on, on dropping these populations. Um, sometimes I kind of forget when it comes time to order seed, but you need to remember to seek out beans that branch out and fill those spaces. We found not, not every bean will bush out. Uh, the yields still be the same, but some of them are more likely to put extra branches on. So more branches, more pods. So stay tuned, we'll be watching this field all through the summer and through harvest. And um, again, we'll run this trial, even though I've dropped it 40,000 lower than I have in the past. And um, we'll see what happens, who shakes out the best.